All right, uh, that's Bull Butter Sports Talk. Uh, quick wrap up of a couple of the games this afternoon. Uh, first of all, Syracuse Notre Dame game. Uh, I think you know Syracuse was uh, came off to a good start, but I think uh, when they lost last week, kind of took the hearts away. They battled back, um, showed a lot of heart, to, but uh, ended up on the short end. Uh, the Ohio State Penn State game was a really good game this 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 week. Um, for a while, Penn State hung tough and uh, gave everything they had. Um, Ohio State that's too, too too talented at the end. Just too talented. Um, as for the West Virginia TCU game, which is you know of course something that holds dear to me is West Virginia had a chance. Um, the defense held there at the end of the game, and at first, first down. Um, I actually like the passion we played with today. There was a couple situations that really were telltale to me. I think we were had them backed up on the goal line, and it was uh, second or third down, and we had five in the box. They had seven in the box. You're going to run the ball every time. They ran the ball, ended up getting out of that, and uh, drove down the field, and at least got themselves out of uh, the goal line shadows. But we can't line up with five in a box to their seven. They're going to run the ball every time, and they're going to get positive yards on that. Um, I didn't mind the, the onside kick. I thought it was a little too early, but it ended up being well. We actually held them on defense, but then we come out, I mean, we're hurting um, at the running back spot. We're on our fourth string running back, which I kind of wonder why he was in the game anyway, if the other kid was uh, healthy. Um, he drops the ball on the first down, then we get sacked. We end up having to punt the ball. Um, just I really like the passion we played with. I thought we were ready to play. You know, TCU is a good football team. They're ranked seventh in the nation for a reason. But we showed that we can play at a high level. Um, I really liked how Neil Brown got us ready for this game. Uh, defensively, though, we have got to do better. I mean, there was way too many times. This three-down lineman crap and playing coverage has hurt us every time. That is not our strength when we have, we gotta put pressure on the quarterback because our defensive backs are not, are young and they just pick us apart every time we do that. So we have gotta do something differently when it's third and 10 or third and 15 or second, whatever. We can't, we gotta get pressure on the quarterback to get it out of his hands quicker. I don't like the fact that we're sitting back there and letting him have a chance to dictate and have all the time in the world. But this is just a quick rundown. I really like the progression that this year that we have shown a little bit, but I knew that we would be a little bit shaky on the defensive end. And we've, um, Woods is a big improvement at corner. You could show that early when he's healthy. I mean, there was a big difference at the cornerback on his side of the field, both against the screen passes and against one-on-one -on -one coverage and press coverage. But we just are really young and really need to recruit a little bit more defensively. And I hate to look at next year, but our whole offense is back for next year. All of them. I mean, we may lose a lineman to the draft or whatever. And, of course, we're going to lose somebody to the – transfer portal, but our offense should be, be dynamic, especially if uh, TJ Daniel, JT Daniels comes back. And even if he doesn't, uh, Nico, I think, will carry on that. He'll be a little struggle early, but our running backs and our offensive line and everything coming back, um, we just got to sound up our defense. We have to have some linebackers that step up. I, I think Koopa is a great Linebacker, I think he's playing a little bit out of position. Um, 
But I think we get an edge rusher and a couple couple linebackers, and of course, we've got to get some defensive backs that can go up and press coverage and man up and just be physical with people. And with a, but I really liked what we did today offensively. I really liked more about the passion that we played for there early. Um, we didn't have it at the end, and um, but I like the development we're having. There's a lot of things that we can improve on, but I think fundamentally and everything that we've gotten, um, I really, now, to be said, Neil Brown might not be fired this year, but if next year, if he's, a, he's the football coach, the head football coach next year, and if we don't go seven, eight, nine, ten wins, then he needs to be fired because we've got to get better. And I think he needs to make a big change defensively because this defensive that we're running, defense we're running right now, I don't understand what we're doing. I mean, we have got to be better, better defensively. And if that takes a cleaning house a little bit and find another defensive coordinator, but we've got to get players too. And we lost a lot to the transfer portal last year. And We've got to get better on the back end. And for this, that's Bull Butter Sports Talk.